Ponting about in art galleries with a camera sharpens one's appetite, and a slice of cake and a cup of decaf tea are pleasant accompaniments for reviewing the day's footage. The cake tin doesn't magically fill itself though, so let's eliminate the void. Weigh 225 grams of self-raising flour, add half a teaspoon of allspice and half-heartedly mix together. You can omit the allspice if you wish. Tarquin maintains you can also omit anyone who believes the moon landings from your circle of friends. Add 115 grams of room temperature butter and rub into the flour until you have a bowl of fine breadcrumbs. My mixing bowl for this cake was a casserole dish, but you use whatever you deem appropriate. Creating the breadcrumbs is tedious work. The tedium can be somewhat alleviated by listening to Lamo on Six Music. An egg beaten with five tablespoons of milk is the next step. This looks more than one egg because it was a double yolk. The first double yolked egg I've seen for years. Beat the mixture together. Get bored and fetch the hand mixer. This mixer is rubbish. The slowest speed is so fast it flings the cake mix everywhere but what do you expect for £13? When well beaten, the mix should have a dropping consistency, which mine didn't. This was rectified by increasing the milk content. Ideally, full fat milk should be utilised, but there was only ever semi-skimmed in my fridge. When happy with the consistency, pour in the last ingredient, 225 grams of mixed fruit, and combine thoroughly. Position a cake tin liner into a cake tin and transfer the mixture. Cake tin liners are ridiculously overpriced. It bewilders me. Some suggest greasing the cake tin liners, but I don't bother. They never stick to the cake. At this point, I must apologise for not setting the camera a white balance. I left it on auto by mistake, hence the awful colour shifting. Place into a preheated, fan-assisted oven reading 160 degrees Celsius, or 180 degrees, non-fan-assisted, and cook for one hour. If you believe Team Sky to be clean, you probably don't possess the wherewithal to be operating an oven, and should seek adult supervision for this step, and a large injection of common sense. My adult supervision, the Falkirk Genius, hello Andrew, is not versed in oven operation, so is of little help. While the cake is baking, send a stream of abusive texts to the King of Glasgow. The texts have no bearing on the cake's outcome, but abusing the deluded one keeps me amused. After the hour has passed, insert a skewer, and if the skewer withdraws free of mixture, the cake is baked. If there's mixture left on the skewer, leave for a further 10 minutes and check again. The finished cake didn't turn out too bad.